here to it is Monday the 1st of February and today we're looking at the year one comprehension book together so our activity today is on page 17 but we're going to have a little look together at an activity that I've made that is similar to the one in your book first so today it says can I complete which means finish sentences finding the information in the picture so we're going to use the picture on page 17 today to get the answers that we need to fill in the missing blanks in your sentences. So page 17 today in the year one comprehension book. So if you've got the year one comprehension book, you're looking at the right video. So first of all, then, Mrs. Woods found a picture of my own and I've made some sentences. I've written some sentences with missing blanks and I would like you to help me fill them in. Now, all the blanks are names. So I've got all the names of the children here in my picture. Now, when you write your name, what is it really important that you start your name with? What type of letter must you start your name with? Hopefully, you said a capital letter because a name is a proper noun. So we need a capital letter for all of our names today. So we've got Pa and Jim, Sam. Ken, Kim and Jen. So just have a little look at the picture with your grown-up. And what is everyone doing in that picture? What can you see all the children doing? And where do you think they might be? Okay, so I've got my sentences here that I need your help with filling in the missing names. So we're going to read them together and we're going to sound talk the sentences and sound them out. So this is before you complete your activity this morning. Okay. So blank is sat, sat in a tree. tree. Blank is sat in a tree. Who can you see in my picture that is sat in a tree? Is it pen? It's not pen. Is it Kim? Now she's kind of in a tree. She's on a tree swing, isn't she? Who can you see that is sat in a tree? Um, Sam is sat in a tree. Before I fill in my space here, I need to make sure that I've got a capital letter for Sam's name. Um, Sam is sat in a tree. Okay, the next one then, we've got space is on the swing. swing. Who can you see in my picture here too that is sat on a swing? Kim. Kim is sat on a swing. So capital K for Kim because it's her name. Kim is on the swing. My last sentence then, let's read this one together and with your grown up. Who, so blank, is at that, is with a, a, a book. Who is sat with her book? Have a look at my picture. Who can you see that is sat with a book in my picture? Is it Tom and Jim? It's Jen. So again. I need a capital J for Jen because it's her name. Jen is sat with her book. So your activity in your book today is like mine on the board. You've got a picture and you've got to fill in the missing spaces using the information from the pictures. We've got to use a picture to help us fill in the missing spaces. But before we do, I notice there are some tricky words in your comprehension today. So we're going to go over those first of all. So you need your pencil and we're going to be tricky word spotters. So we're going to investigate and use our magnifying glasses to find those tricky words before they trick us when we're reading our comprehension. So page 17 in front of you. And the first tricky word that I would like you to spot is the word, do you know this word already? It's there, there. Can you find the word there? in your comprehension. Now, my there doesn't have a capital letter. 
put your word there just because it's the start of a sentence. So circle the word there. Did you manage to find it? Brilliant. The next tricky word is the word ah. Oh. Did you read that one already? Ah. Oh. Have a look if you can circle and find the word ah oh in your comprehension. Then hopefully when you come to complete your task, you'll remember what these tricky words are. I've just used it. Ah. Oh. We've had there and ah. Oh. Okay. Now this word, I think it's a very tricky word because it's a word, it's a number, but written as a word. Do you know what this word is? It's two, like the number two, but it's written as a word. Can you find the word two in your activity book, the word two? Okay. Now this one, we're going to need our phase three phonics for this word, because I've got, what sound have I highlighted here? I've got I, for night here. So have a look if you can find this word. It's I tights. 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 Can you find the word tights in your comprehension book? So we've had the word there, R, two, and now tights. So I've been through your work and tried to spot some tricky words that I think you might have difficulty with. So, your activity today is to complete, like Mrs Wood did, in the picture, so use the picture to find the information to fill in the missing spaces. So, number one says, blank is wearing a hat. So, detective magnifying glass, who in the picture is wearing a hat? Question two. There, ooh, that's that tricky word again, are, hmm, frogs. There are something frogs. So I think here we might need to count the frogs in that picture. So using the picture to find the information. Okay, they're not all names. So use the picture to try and fill in the blanks. And if you spotted and circled the tricky words, that should help you. Now, if you whiz through that, I would like you to go and have a go at Mrs. Wood's comprehension challenge. So I've made my own picture with different names in. What I would like to do, you might want to pause the video here when you complete this task. I would like you to write some sentences about my picture. So I want to know what Tom and Jim are doing. What is Sam doing and Pen and Kim and Jen? So you might want to start with Tom and Jim. Tom and Jim are playing football. So some simple sentences to tell me what each child in my picture is doing. And I'll be super impressed and lots of marvellous me badges for those children that take on Mrs Wood's comprehension challenge today. So remember, page 17 today, year two. I remember this, if you're using a name in your missing spaces, your blanks, don't forget we need a capital letter. Okay, year two. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.